In the last couple of years, I posted a series of videos on moon zooms with professional cameras, but also with smartphones. And so far I had a clear favorite, which is the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. This changed in the last days because I was getting a new firmware update on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. And in this video, I'm going to discuss the phone and also show footage from, I think, the best moon zoom on an Android smartphone. And now let's kick off the video. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is a remarkable phone from various angles, but what caught my attention immediately when I had the phone for the first time in my hands is that ensemble of cameras on the back. And these are by far, if I go back in the history of Samsung smartphones, the largest lenses I've ever seen in a Samsung phone. And clearly, typically a large lens, larger camera also means better images. And that is something I'm going to demonstrate in the course of the video here. I'm sure a few people will ask what kind of case do you have on your S21 Ultra and that's a case I purchased at Amazon. It's a quite nice one and since this phone has what Samsung calls a space zoom, I thought a galaxy type image at the back is fitting very well to the phone so I like it but there are also other cases you can purchase. For instance, there is this one here which is originally Samsung and I think it also fits very nicely. The phone is a very good case. There are the more robust ones from Samsung like this one with a stand here, which you can use to actually place your phone in front of you, for instance, like this. So uh, there are various options and I think the most sophisticated case you can have on the S21 Ultra is actually this one here because here you have the S Pen integrated and this is the first S-Line Samsung smartphone which actually supports that fantastic technology we know from the Samsung Note line where you can use the S Pen to actually scribble on your phone and do all kinds of things. And clearly for photographers, if you want to use Lightroom Mobile, this S Pen is a blessing because you can very fine with your adjustments work in post-processing of your images. But clearly in this video, we are not that much interested in cases. I just thought because otherwise I get a lot of comments and questions. You can find this on Amazon. That's where I purchased it. It fits very nicely to the camera at the back and is nicely protecting the phone. And also I think kind of reflects and resonates with the space zoom they have on this Android flagship smartphone. Now switching the phone on, we get the usual graphical user interface here of the phone. And uh, I can say this is by far the best Android phone I've ever had in my hands. And I say this consciously Besides the fact that many people know that I'm actually a true Huawei fanboy. So this is the P40 Pro Plus with its Leica camera ensemble. I really love that phone. There is another video coming up which will deal with, let's say, one year with the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Will come up very soon where I share a lot of footage and it is a fantastic phone. But since you don't have Google Play Store any longer on the Huawei lineup, you actually get very likely the better value on Samsung because you don't have to use tweaks and let's say jailbreak it when it comes to the App Store. And uh, here you have the full suite of all the Android capabilities, including Google Play, which I think for many people is easier than modifying a Huawei smartphone in a way that you get access again to Google Play, which is no longer available natively on Huawei smartphones due to the ban from the US. So here you get the full Monty, the full Android experience, including Google Play. And clearly, if we look into the camera GUI, it is the normal GUI you have and you have here the single take. I do not intend to do a full camera review here. This video really should focus on space zoom and moon zoom. But you have the photo section here in the native camera app. You have the video section and then you have more. And in more, you have all the usual suspects. So you get, for instance, the pro mode here where you can adjust your camera settings manually. You get a panorama mode, you get a night mode. The night mode works excellent on that phone. You get a portrait mode for a more shallow depth of field. If you want to simulate this, it's never done by a hardware aperture. It's always software simulation, but it works very well. You get, of course, slow motion, super slow motion, hyperlapse, everything is here. And the customization of the GUI here is also very easy. You just tap on plus here. And then if I say I want to have hyperlapse here, I just press and hold 
and slice it down and then it's here and you can also slice this further up to a different section in the GUI for quick access. So it's very, very easy to customize this phone in the way you wanna have it. And I should say, I like a lot what I'm seeing here. And I also like in particular the pro mode because if you're a photographer who professionally takes images, then here you get almost a DSLM or DSLR type experience. So quite nice. As said, there would be many more things to tell about this phone and it's exclusively good stuff. In particular, when it comes to the camera, in particular, when it comes to the video capabilities where you get true 8K footage, which you can also use and select single frames with, I think, reasonably high resolution. And that is very helpful for sports and action, of course, because you just take a video of uh, what's going on and then you just select the frame in the phone or in post and you can work with it. So it's a fantastic phone. It has lots of innovative features on the cameras when it comes to videography and photography. And I think it's an excellent value proposition. People following me on my channel and I got lots of comments on that video. They are aware that I complained strongly about the Samsung S20 Ultra last year because that also claimed to have a space zoom and the space zoom in my opinion was absolutely not usable. 10 times magnification, yes. Everything beyond was just smeared out, was washed out like an oil painting, not usable. I did moon zooms and compared it with moon zooms from the Huawei P40 Pro Plus and Huawei was by far superior to everything I could get out of that phone. Now, what you also need to know is that Samsung has a good track record in improving the firmware of the phone over time. And when I got the S21 Ultra some time ago and did my first tests on the Space Zoom, I was not fully convinced. That totally changed with the most recent firmware. And I did the same evening when the newest firmware hit the phone, leverage a clear night sky with a full moon to do that moon zoom I'm going to show in the next minutes. And the result is just mind blowing. And I really mean it because what you can achieve with that smartphone is getting close to what you got with super sophisticated bridge cameras some time ago and is even getting close if you do some post-processing to what you can achieve with, let's say, semi-professional cameras. Clearly, it's not a match if you do with, you know, a very large tele lens, a zoom with a Sony A7R Mark IV or a Leica SL2, you will get better results. And that's absolutely clear. But the proof of concept that a space zoom is now usable in a smartphone like here on the S21 Ultra, that is for granted. So let's kick this off. Let's look into the live demonstration and let's look into the results. The space zoom feature on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is now a very mature feature. And here switching from wide angle into normal angle situation in the video mode of the phone, then getting even closer. You also see that video stabilization works very, very well. Tiny little shakes are always forgiven by the phone. Getting really close to people on that platform over River Limmat in Zurich. And now in a moment going super close to people sitting there. And still the video is very sharp, very crisp, looks very good. And there are all kinds of things you can do with Space Zoom on the S21 Ultra. Filming with the phone even when walking shows how great the video stabilization works and in general the stabilization of the phone. And I did even a hyperlapse handhold by walking through Zurich City and even here it looks quite nice, looks quite good. And for lovers of hecticness, here you go. Now coming to Space Zoom before that firmware update by the end of March, here is a super wide angle shot with the S21 Ultra. Using Space Zoom now we can get closer to the scene at the other side of the river, getting even closer Zooming in using the zoom features of the camera, getting closer and closer. And here we are now at 50 times magnification, which is still a usable image. But if I now switch to 100 times, it becomes still washed out as we saw it on the S20 Ultra. This changed now with that firmware update by the end of March as it was rolled out in Switzerland. And that's why I tried the moon zoom again, which so totally failed last year on the S20 Ultra. And now on the S21 Ultra, I really like it. I love it. It's the best moon zoom on an Android phone. So let's have a look into my little experiment here. We had a clear night sky in Switzerland and we also had a full moon. So I started to play with the phone in the photo section of the native camera app. And you see here on the upper right hand side that the moon actually is recognized by the AI. 
and that it already looks very good at a 30 times magnification. Clearly I used the self timer here because I didn't want to have any shakes and the phone was mounted on a tripod. Then I wanted to go up from 30 times magnification to 100 times magnification and uh, clearly then even on a tripod this becomes a bit tricky to get the phone steady and get the moon at the center of the frame. The moment in time when the AI kicks in, which is right now, the lighting parameters and shooting parameters of the phone are automatically adjusted for a moon type situation and the moonshot. I kept playing for almost an hour, I would say, and also looked into the night mode, looked into manual mode, but manual mode cannot zoom heavily in just up to 10 times. Zooming out a little bit, trying all kinds of different things and now let's have a look into the results. Here's the shot with 30 times magnification as it came out of camera as a JPEG and I think that already looks really, really good. Importing the JPEG then into Lightroom Classic and adjusting three sliders as shown on the right hand side here makes the moon even more pop. This here is the image you saw in the live video shooting when I screen recorded my S21 Ultra and on the left hand side you see the JPEG as it came out of the camera and on the right hand side you see the JPEG after a few minor adjustments in Lightroom Classic and clearly here if you look on the right hand side this is getting very close to a moonshot you would get from a professional camera. It looks really good, it's by far the best moon image I've ever seen on a smartphone. I hope you liked that video and coming back to the various comments where people criticized me many months ago last year when I was basically posting my footage coming from the S20 Ultra and people said you should have waited for the newer firmware, my phone is behaving differently. That might all be correct and I fully accept it of course because I encourage people to get engaged in the comment sections but at this point in time the P40 Pro from Huawei was by far the better phone. Now I think Samsung caught up this phone is better when it comes to the moon zoom and also the overall value package you get from the camera in terms of videography and photography is the most superior setup you can currently have on an Android smartphone. There will be more phones to come, it's a permanent race and maybe in a couple of months this is already outdated for the time being. That's a firm statement where I'm fully convinced that it is true. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel, there's always more to come and there are lots of videos in the pipeline for the next weeks. Thanks for watching, stay safe and healthy and peace out.